we are reading in the Psalms. And I was saying it's one of my favorite, most dog-eared books um, that I own. Psalm uh, chapter three, the Passion Translation this morning. But I want to just tell you a little bit about the Psalms. If you're looking for philosophy, if you're looking for poetry, if you're looking for beauty, um, the Psalms is where to find it. If you want to strengthen yourself in the Lord, the Psalms is where you can find that strength. And um, I was thinking about, you know, poetry and philosophy and uh, just uh, the books that we read that we consider sort of, you know, sacred, like the classics. This is the first classic. This is the first uh, poetry book that that is on record. It was written between, listen to this, it was written between 1440 BC and 586 BC. This pup is old school and it's amazing. So uh, join me. Uh, every Tuesday and Thursday uh, by podcast or you, YouTube for TPT, The Passion Translation. And these are short readings and they will encourage you like crazy. Um, the Passion Translation, Psalm chapter 3. And I'm going to read all the headings because I feel like they go along with the poetry and they help make sense of it internally. So Psalm chapter three, the Passion Translation, covered by the glory. King David's song when he was forced to flee from Absalom, his own son. The humbling of a king. Lord, I have so many enemies, so many who are against me. Listen to how they whisper their slander against me saying, look, he's hopeless. Even God can't save him from this. Pause in his presence. The help of God. But in the depths of my heart, I truly know that you, Yahweh, have become my shield. You take me and surround me with yourself. Your glory covers me continually. You lift high my head when I bow low in shame. I have cried out to you, Yahweh, from your holy presence. You send me a father's help. Pause in his presence. The song of safety. So now I'll lie down and sleep like a baby. Then I'll awake in safety for you surround me with your glory. Even though dark powers prowl around me, I won't be afraid. The secret of strength. I simply cry out to you. Rise up and help me, Lord. Come and save me and you will slap them in the face, breaking the power of their words to harm me. My true hero comes to my rescue, for the Lord alone is my savior. What a feast of favor and bliss he gives his people. Pause in his presence. And I, I just want to say when, when the Psalms instruct us to have a pause in his presence, a Selah moment, I want to encourage you, pause in his, think about this. Think about what was just stated here in this beautiful poetry of God's word. Stop, pause, really think about the fact that my true hero, God, comes to my rescue, for the Lord alone is my savior. Stop, pause, think about it. Let it go around again in your mind. And, and that concludes the reading of Psalm chapter three in the Passion Translation. Can't wait for next time.